everyone, I'm Yan and welcome to my table. Last time we baked Japanese milk bread, perfect for sandwiches. So naturally, let's make some. Let's make the tamago sando or egg sandwich and a dessert sandwich with fruit. Both super popular and easy to make. If you're looking for a couple of sandwich ideas for your homemade shukupan, then be sure to watch until the end. A good tamago sando starts with good eggs. Fresh, organic, or free-range eggs will make a world of difference. And to cook the perfect soft-boiled egg, follow these techniques. First, bring a pot of water to a simmer, then carefully drop in the eggs. Straight from the fridge is fine. Set your timer for six minutes for large eggs, or six and a half minutes for extra large eggs, and boil on medium-high heat. After the timer goes off, fish out the eggs that you want soft boiled and put it in a cold water bath right away to stop the cooking. As for the remaining eggs, we want them hard boiled. So set your timers for four additional minutes. Peel the soft boiled egg and set that aside as we get the hard boiled eggs off the stove and run it under some cold water to stop the cooking. Peel those as well and put them into a separate bowl. Mash the hard boiled eggs with the fork. Then add mustard, salt, black pepper, sugar, and the other important ingredient, the Japanese QP mayo. This mayo has a creamier and more authentic taste, but if you don't have it, you can definitely use regular mayo as a substitute. Next, cut the soft boiled egg in half lengthwise to reveal the golden custard-like egg yolk within. And to assemble the sandwich, Place one half of the soft boiled egg face down on a slice of shukupan. Then generously spoon the egg salad on top. Top with the other slice of the bread and do not eat it. In fact, wrap the sandwich tight in plastic wrap or parchment paper and put it into the fridge to chill and firm up. After about 30 minutes, take out the sandwiches. And this is a completely optional yet necessary step. Cut off the crusts. This is a bit wasteful, but it is how traditional Japanese tamago sandos are presented. After that, simply slice the sandwich in half to reveal soft, creamy, salty, and sweet egg salad filling between two thick slices of equally soft, pillowy Japanese milk bread. The additional soft boiled egg in the middle adds an extra gooey richness and the mustard adds a nice bite to the otherwise mild flavors. It's really a simple but perfect combination. Now let's make a dessert sandwich. Whip up some cream with sugar added to taste. To enhance the creaminess, add some whipped cream cheese or room temperature regular cream cheese. Or if you want to go fancy, add some mascarpone cheese instead. Both will add a nice tanginess and a more complex flavor to this simple whipped cream. Once you have a thick and spreadable consistency, stop. Do not over whip cream or it will separate. Get a couple of slices of our shukupan, and this time, cut up the crust now. Spread a thick layer of the whipped cream filling on one slice of the crustless bread. 
place your fruit on top. In this case, whole, plump, juicy strawberries across on the diagonal. Then cover the berries with a thick coating of the filling. Be generous here because the filling is supposed to surround the fruits like a cloud. Top with the other slice of bread and again wrap it tight in plastic wrap and leave it to chill and set in the fridge. 30 minutes later, take it out of the fridge, unwrap and use a serrated knife to cut across where you lay out the fruits. And voila! A fruit sando that is both a little weird and weirdly tasty. The chilled juicy fruit cuts nicely into the sweetened whipped cheesy cream. The soft fluffy bread adds a wonderful carb component and holds the creamy juicy filling intact. This tastes a bit like strawberry shortcake, but lighter. You've got to try it to believe it. As always, go to Yen's family table for the full written recipe. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more recipes like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.